What's going on guys? So this is the first of many videos where I'll be talking about how to play each class, in this case starting with Rifleman, my favourite of course, and I'll be going through every spot, every technique and all I know about each class and how to play it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. In my opinion the Rifleman on Allies isn't quite as good as the one on Axis, but it is much more satisfying to use. This brings us to spot number one, which is the left tank on the beach. I find it quite useful for taking out people in the bunkers, as well as the ones hiding behind the sandbags. Overall it has a really nice view of the whole beach, so that will do just right if you know how to hit people from far away. This brings us to our second spot, the tank on the right. So it's pretty much just as good as the other one, but it's slightly worse at pushing because you don't have any easily accessible cover. You can stand on top of it to get better angle at balls further in the back, allowing you to hit them from seemingly nowhere. Before we go any further, I would like to recommend that you turn down your camera sensitivity down to 0.1, trust me, you'll need it. Now this is my favorite spot for the allies on the whole map. All you have to do is just peek out of cover every once in a while and just headshot them. You can spawn cover Germans so easily. Like, it's not even fair. It works best if you have voice command so you can speed crouch. Watch my other video to see how to do it. And yeah, you can't beat this. Now, spot number four. It's a bit further up in the village and it's just behind these trees on the right. As you can see, you can shoot pretty much directly into the German spawn and eliminate anyone coming across the bridge. Now here are some really quick ones. This tank. This car. This truck. This window. And right here. This is a great spot for trying to take out people on top of that hill. This is my favorite spot for defending the city square. It has good angles on both the left and right entryways, and yeah, you can also barely hit the people behind that hill. Here, behind the tank, you can easily snipe anyone trying to flank you. And on top, you can shoot all the way to the bridge. Like, it's insane. The angles on this one spot are gorgeous. Moving on to number four. This spot next to the truck is incredible. Just wow. You can shoot all across the bridge and pretty much into the spawn, for that might be a bit hard. Even if someone's coming, of course we have to talk about the tank. It's just so OP. You can shoot all the way to the beach flag with no problem at all. Next up is this little corridor here, which pretty much lets you shoot directly into the ally spawn. Just keep your critical at head level and you get so many kills, oh my god. Now this spot right here might be one of the fastest to get kills like, on the whole map. Just one tap the allies as they spawn it, and they can't do much about it, apart from blowing you up with explosives. Now you see this. Don't do this, it's a literal cancer, and it'll just get you killed. Like, don't do it bro. So our penultimate spot is the legendary hill in the trenches. I can't even tell you how many kill streaks they have here. How many tens of thousands of kills I have in this spot alone. It's so good. Oh my god. Okay, our final spot is... Jump roll please. Next to the right bunker. This is probably one of the best spots to camp out the beach. As you will flank pretty much everyone. Now for some general advice. The important thing to note about rifle is that it only takes one shot to kill someone. So that means that you only have to stand still for one shot. So try to keep moving at all times. Always aim for the head, because if you miss, you're still more than likely to hit them in the torso. Try not to spam, because even though we have infinite ammo, we don't have an infinite magazine, and those rounds might come in handy in a life or death situation. So uh, that's it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.